There is no tax, Jeff Ray, on the beautiful weather we've had here over the <laughs> few days. That's been pretty no, good not. for every folks, for a lot of the folks that have. Yeah, but it does seem like there is some payback, though, isn't it? <laughs> like every Thursday and Friday. That's and right. It, that's we right. caught the sun getting to horizon here this evening to end the uh, first weekend of spring and the last weekend of March, by the way. But uh, it was a beautiful day. The, the forecast for tomorrow is a day a little bit cooler. We're going to start, in fact, in the mid 40s in many locations, and we'll warm up into the low 70s. Some clouds coming in later, and notice that 20 percent chance for rain and maybe a rumble of thunder as we close the day on Monday. So let me show you this. We'll pick it up at 1:30, and you'll notice a little bit of a disturbance coming out of the southwest, and it'll spread across the 20 corridor into the metroplex as we get into the afternoon and evening. I think this is a little overplayed here on the, the uh, first alert future cast model. So there will be a few rumbles of thunder, but coverage will be closer to 20%. And it'll be around in the evening, but exiting off to the east. And then we'll watch in the overnight something down across our southeast counties, at least for the first half of the overnight. But uh, there's city cam shot, Arlington, 63 degrees with a little bit of a breeze uh, this evening. That's the other side of the cold front that came through this afternoon. But of course, this is a big week. We have Rangers home opener Thursday, and that first pitch is at three. And guess what happening on Thursday for the fifth time in a row? We have a weather alert out for Thursday and Friday with the risk of strong to severe thunderstorms. Conditional storm threat, by the way, Thursday afternoon. It all has to do with the dry line. It's a better chance in the evening, in fact, that we, if we see any severe weather, it'll probably be Thursday evening. But we do have another round of severe weather possible on Friday. So let, let, let's talk about this a little bit more because we are thinking that as we get into the afternoon hours on Thursday, we might be dealing with a little bit of thunderstorm activity out into our western counties because you can see the risk does include the metroplex but I really think they form out to the west and then try to run towards us through the course of the evening. Now on Friday itself we're going to actually have a front come in and that's going to push the dry line in which could cause some thunderstorms and then the front itself. Now any range of weather, severe weather is possible, even isolated tornadoes with Friday being the higher risk. I really think that the warm front that comes through Thursday will trigger some stuff out to the west and then the greater risk will probably be right around the metroplex and to the east and to the northeast as we get through the day on Friday. So here we go with temperatures in the 80s on Friday, and it's all said and done with by next weekend as we start April. Looks like some fine weather. Yes, it does. Jeff, thank you.